I've always had problems with mice in this house. I lived across the road from here, a two story house, never no problem. And the problem with mice in the bungalow, you got the overflow pipes and all going out from the attic and stuff. And when I moved in here and I did um, the insulation, around every light, they had 50 watt lights, bulbs and all these units. And every light in the living room and all that, you would see all the rat poo and all the, they're all nesting around the lights for the heat. And uh, the only mouse I have in the house now was in the kitchen. I'm um, seeing him last year. He's still about, still mouse dramas, but I don't know where he is. But uh, there's a rental kill mouse thing in there. That wasn't me put that there. So that's below the baseboard and all so it is. So they have had problems with mice underneath the sink as well. Now, as far as I know, the sewer is partly blocked up. They used to have great big um, drains and all here as well. Wasn't the best. There's a couple of dishwasher tablets, so I'm going to clean that up and make sure that Luna doesn't get anywhere near it. But uh, I sealed up all the gaps I could see between the attic. They come from the attic into the house that way. And you have to watch the even doors open as well. One year I had bird seed in the shed, eating the bird seed, and they nested in my car seat. So it's part of my own fault as well. So I don't kill mice, but I don't feed them either. But uh, there's one in here you have to get out. Why a hassle pulling out that thing, you know, but look, not happy with that. Some kind of plastic. Oh, you know what it might be? It's a copper pipe covered in plastic. I've never seen that before. Um, this house would have had the copper pipe run along the floor and stuff. There's a hot nose, so that's gone up to the attic. Um, the bathroom would have had the pipes run along the wall. There's a back, there was a back door here. So the pipes went across the back door. They had to go under now. I'll see when I uncover these. But they're putting the pipes under the ground. There's the main pipe coming in. That's the hot coming in from the bathroom. Why is it covered in blue? I've never seen that before. I must look up YouTube to see what they do. Was that before insulation or what? I don't know. But uh, always took a long time for the hot water. That, that, that is just copper pipe under that. Uh, never seen that before. So there's the main pipe coming on. There's no plastic in that. Uh, that's, what, that's what's catching on me here. So you see these are soil pumps? That's straight down to the sewer there. So they get a wee cap for that there. What I'll probably do, I'll get spray foam and foam it all up. And then, um, I'm saying that I'm putting, um, I'm putting my wee mini kitchen in here. On my own suite. So, I uh, I intend to put the wee mini kitchen either in there or halfway down the wall. You won't see it, it'll just be like a wee caravan sink. Uh, the wee thing like a cup of tea. Just the wee basics like. Uh, I'll take the rest of these units out. That was a hassle getting that out there. But you know what, there's no mouse, mouse trappings actually on the bottom of that. There's mouse, there used to be mouse droppings on that shelf, so they're coming into that cupboard. But uh, I'm expecting to spend a nest or something there. I might keep this drawer unit. And the wee end unit was pretty good. I'll keep these two units. And I'm saying that. That's cracking up there. That's the sunlight now. It's just age. Ah, I'll dump it. The thing is, you see when you buy units. The actual units from sell are very cheap to buy. It's the doors you pay the money for. Them drawers there. I wouldn't want drawers in a mini kitchen in my bedroom. It takes up too much space. They're not much good for socks and stuff because the sides were never any good on them. I'll just dump them. My kitchen is my old kitchen is now back to being flat packed. That makes my uh, house insurance now valid again. It asked me how many kitchens I had. I put down one. I'm back to one kitchen now. So my home contents insurance should be covered now. But my car locks with no seats are now completely empty. I put that rug down because I've already been to the dump. I stuck close right. I've already been to the dump so I have and I don't mind I'm taking more wood down to the dump. I don't want wood going on top of the seatbelt cables and stuff like that. Um last time I carried a wee bit of wood, I was about to dodge about the wood going forward and happened Luna. So I'm going to break the whole kitchen up, except for uh, one cabinet. I'm putting one cabinet across here to make a barrier. 
I'll put all the loose stuff in. So we Luna will still be safe. And I need to protect that as well. Put a piece of wood in front of that. And that's, once I got that done, just cram everything else in then. I'll put her ball under there. Don't like taking the ball out because we forget it. I need to get fresh water anyway. So I'm going to start now loading this car up. We cushions. I'll get her a better wee bed than that. But, uh, she needs more comfort than that wee cushion. That's the wee blackout thing, I don't want to lose that. So I'll start getting this loaded up now. This is the before. My old big castle, I would have jammed it right up the roof. I carried deck and everything in the old one. Uh, you like it in the car, don't you, Luna? But you don't like bits of wood coming on top of you. Of all the old kitchen cabinets down now, um, I'm going to cut a wee bit of that tabletop off from the tumble dryer and get the rest dumped. All the metal is getting recycled. I'm um, holding on to one wee cabinet. Uh, don't know if it won't be used in here. It might be used in a wee mini kitchen. I don't know. Um, well, hang on, see this earth wire? Wouldn't even connect it. Originally, that would have been connected to the copper pipes. I don't know if you're supposed to connect earth wires to copper pipes now or not. You go on the internet, you get two different answers. Uh, the theory being. If you somebody dropped a, an electrical, say you dropped a hair dryer under the sink, it would help save your life. But if somebody drops a hair dryer under the sink in, the, say, the bathroom, which they shouldn't have, and somebody's in the kitchen, the earth wire would actually electrocute them. So I think the theory is now not the earth. So that does make sense. But uh, so I couldn't find out with your kitchen. So I think maybe it's mainly because of the plastic wiring. But that's the original light switch there. And you came into the house. That's the back door. See that line there? That's the original back door. So I take it they left the hole there because they, they had the idea of putting an extractor fan on. And then by the time the cooker hood was on here, you see, so they didn't actually have a cooker hood. They had a cabinet for a cooker hood. So uh, they ran out of money. Obviously, just didn't get around to doing it. They just stuffed the rag in there. I need to guarantee there's no insulation in that wall there. But I'm looking at all the plaster. It's all different at ages and stuff. I've been any tempted. When my new kitchen, I want to avoid paying a plaster. But in here, I'm tempted to strip all that plaster off. Not just tap it. It's... Listen to here, like. It's all different sounds. Uh, that plaster there was coming off there just by um, the hoover. So I just damp there, the, the back. Um, silicone was on real thick here. So I'm tempted to get them two walls there and strip it back to the bare bricks and get a plaster to do it proper. Should we pay a plaster? Like, the rest of the room is okay. But get that. I don't have to go back to the base coat. So it all depends what was the cost of plaster nowadays. I have no clue. Can you get a plaster? Well, if I take, if we open the door up, I want to put a window in there. Where that door is. The window's going to go the whole way down to the floor. I'm in two minds. I want to get a shower pot. Um, I like the idea of being in, this is going to be my master bedroom. She's already using it as a master bedroom. I want to lie here in my bed. I'd really look out the window. I'm just imagine now I'm a pensioner, like not able to move. And my idea has been now is um sun comes in here in the morning. If I put a window there, that'd be all lovely and bright. I want a wee two seater sofa thing sitting over there. Something I can sit down and put my socks on, like throw my clothes on at night time. Trying to get a right piece of I'm not very good at looking for furniture. So this is what I have in my head. Um this wall need to go back a bit. Probably similar to the that wall. That's, that's the original wall here. So that was the coal house. And that's the original brick wall of the coal house. And when I came in here, the cupboards, see my nice white gloss. The cupboards were nice. Nice cupboards, but there was no cabinets. There was no cabinets. I made a wee cabinet for there. And I took a wee flyover and put on a couple of spotlights. But all you had was one corner unit there. A small unit and a small unit. There was no full size units. The sink unit was only 800 mil. Then you had a corner, you had a thousand more corner that was useless like. And then an oven, which I never used, and a base unit. That was a 
500. That was a, that base unit there, 500. So the only cabinet that really used, I used that one all the time for my crust. And that's why I sort of like to hold on to one. I'm not one for stripping out everything. It's not the matter of just saving money, it's recycling. You often think maybe if ghosts of the past came here, they'd like to recognise one cabinet that they used to have. So I could put it in the en suite or something. I don't know. Put it in the walk-in wardrobe. We'll see. We'll see if I find a space for it. If not, I'll go in the shed. I like to hold on to one wee cabinet. Not for the value of it. Um, the only thing is then that I've struck it back to the bricks and put on wooden panel. I don't know. Um, that's the original pipes. I was wondering about that. That's the original pipes coming into the house. So the reason why it goes under the floor there because the back door was there. That's going to be my bedroom now. Now the problem I'm having now, there's the water comes on there from outside. Um, sitting out brave and far. I want to get that radiator. It has to be moved over here. I've got to get a radiator there. So you see the bit of problem I'm going to have. Now what, what I could do, if that wasn't out so far, that floor seems a bit dodgy anyway. Like maybe I could carefully break up that floor. You see where it's, it's joined on. So I reckon that could be broke up. I'm waiting for the water board now to get my stuff valve outside. I'm hoping they fit me one. Dig up the street and put one in. Every house around here has one except the bungalows. So if I could turn the water off outside, I would break that up there. And uh, I don't know how far you could move back. But uh, dig up the street outside. Big, big job digging up the street. Mm, that's not going to have to work out. I knew that problem was coming. But you see if worst came to the worst, you put a window seat there. You just put a wee window seat and uh, box off that bit of wall. If I brought a stud out here now, a couple of inches, about a 2 by 4 about a 2 by 4 along that wall, and you'd only lose 2 inches of that wall, then pipes there could be cut back here, that could be cut there, tapped off, and that's probably the one I get the most there. Um, that's the coal coming in, so that has to come in there. No, hold on here, boys. Hmm. That's a coal coming in. She must be going to the bathroom. Do a bit of research here now. Uh, that's going to the bathroom. The other one's going up to the attic. The one that's going up to the attic. But then again, I could cut that pipe there, run along the bottom, keep it flusher, instead of having this bulge sticking out. That's the outdoor tap. So I have a new outdoor tap already. See, a lot of this DIY is all about finding what you have and working things out. But I don't mind losing two inches. That's the most there. That's the most I would lose, two inches. So I can box that water two inches, let all the pipes stay there, except for that one there, if I can get that back. Rather than dig up floors and all over here. So, I boxed that in over here. It's a waste of space. All that is there is uh, the, the pipes going up, one pipe going up on the oil cable, so that'll be taken away. Um, I want to get a steam pod. I don't know how a steam pod, how... Tell you I want a steam pod. A shower pod could possibly leak. You don't want steam in a bedroom. And if I could, if I could even get away with not having, I don't know how much space there is. And I like the idea of still being able to walk. I want, I don't want to keep a back door. If that was a window, I like the idea of still keeping a back door into the bedroom. And if you could have walked in here, that wall could be cut back a bit. And a wee mini kitchen built here in front. So basically the space that's just in here now already, that could be, original idea that the wee on sweep would be in here and then um, walk in wardrobe so they'll be further back. So well, I'm going over now, I'm going to put a bed on here now. I'm putting the bed, a spare bed in my sister's house. 
got it over a year ago. So it's all flat packed over there. I'll bring it over and build it up here. Now it's been held out with this radiator. Luna will lie on it. She likes lying in this room in the morning because the sun comes in. And if I get the bed up now and you get a feel of the place, what space there is. But I did it like the bed looking straight out the window. So this wall needs to go to get it lined up. Uh, the only thing is then would have been um, a door into the ensuite, a door into the walk in wardrobe, and a wee alcove in between. You see how I bought that alcove? That was the fridge sat in there, like, but it'd be half the distance. So we can make a wee cup of tea. That was a original idea. Now I thought, we had a steam pot. Now the idea, I was going to say, the idea of a steam pot, steam doesn't get out of them. They're 100% sealed. The only way a steam gets out of them is the extractor fan on the top. Because the whole idea of a steam pot as a sauna is to keep the steam in there. It's not supposed to leak, but I don't know anybody's got one. So I thought rather than buy a shower pot, if I bought a steam pot, even if it's just used a shower, no steam should get out of it. Because you don't want steam coming out and into the bedroom and then into the wardrobe and then everything going damp. And I think I might get this maybe fancy roof I'd lower down there one time. I used to do stuff like that in my younger days. So I think I could put an infrared heater on the roof right above the bed. Look at she likes lions in the morning. Look at her now, like lying on. So I was sitting here having a wee cup of tea and all watching the TV, I'm watching all the wee birdies and all that there. I want to get some vegetation, get the garden done up a bit. I'm getting ready for retirement, like. I'm not retiring yet for another 10 years, like, but uh, and then the, the wee wonder here. Um, if, if I have the door that opens up, I can have that one single sheet of glass instead of having any open windows. Because then you have wee windows. Uh, the next door neighbours, one of them we half door PVC ones, where you can open up the top window. Brilliant job, like. So your door stays closed, keep the mice out, and you open up the top, and you listen to the wee birds and all she you could. And then just have a sheet of glass, put on a couple of wee stickers, stop the local birds crashing into the glass, because you need to guarantee that's what they'll start doing. So there's plans. Uh, my, my kitchen's done up now, like, but I have to, the kitchen was never their plans. The, ki the bedroom is, that's, that's my dream now to have the bedroom done up. So I'll go over now and get this bed. I have all the stuff in the car now to go down to recycling. The whole kitchen's in my car. It only takes up half the car. We must have cut that board now quickly. And then uh, I'll go down to the recycling yard and then we're going to watch some more of these Halloween festivals down in the city centre. Uh, there's the whole kitchen now in the back of my car. Um, I could have flat packed them last couple but there's no need because there's plenty of space anyway because I just chuck them in. But uh, it's going to show if you flat pack. It takes up less room than it does new. Um, all, this, all the stainless steel you're getting, all the metals getting recycled. But that's electric there. So I'm not sure if the scrap bear would take that with ethical glass fibre and all on it. So I'll take that down to the, the rec, uh, recycling place. And the, like the kitchen sink and drawer runners, all out there is all going for recycling. Raw here to get the scrap bear and get money for it. The kitchen's going to be recycled now. God knows what it's going to become. Uh, I came here last Sunday, one o'clock. Couldn't believe it. I thought it was Black Friday sales. Everybody comes here at one o'clock on a Sunday. Hold on, no, no, no escaping. No escaping.